The EX-1 in Call of Duty Vanguard is absolute garbage. Yo, what's up? It's Elusive. In this video, no cap, I use the EM-2, and the EM-2 is not very good in this game. I actually put on the best attachments on this weapon to make it actually decent, bro. If you're not running these attachments, you're gonna see why it's garbage, no cap. It reloads slow as hell. The time to kill is atrocious when it comes to medium and long range. And you're just being outgunned by the majority of the weapons in this game, bro. But running this class setup will actually help it to where you actually start winning more gunfights. No cap. And everything, and I get killed way faster than I could kill people with this weapon. Due to its time to kill being slower than every other weapon in the game. Look at that, bro. If that was any other gun and bullets were coming out instead of laser, they would have been dead. Three bullets. He was still alive. Three. And everyone knows this gun's time, every other gun's time to kill in this game is like three bullets due to it having a fast time to kill in this game. The game itself is doo doo on top of the gun being doo doo. No cap, bro. But that's besides the point. In this video, I got two V2s using this EX1, which I think I might have called it the EM2. If I called it the EM2, you know it's EX1. I did have two V2 clips using the EX1, but one of them completely was chalked, bruh. I mean, it was skipping the entire time, glitching around, so I can't use that clip at all. So, it looks like you're only getting one V2 instead of two. So yeah, if this video interests you, drop a like and sub if you're new. We're on the road to 1,000 subs. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs before Modern Warfare 2 drops, so help a brother out. But yeah, let's get into this crazy nuclear game place. Alrighty, brothers, we're trying to use the EX-1. I recorded a clip, but then, um, let's just say something happened. And all my clips are gone. Or should I say, all have no voice. Like, literally, none of them have my voice in it. I don't know how, but my mic muted on all of them. I still don't have all the attachments on this damn gun. Because I hardly play Vanguard. I was just trying to do a quick gameplay on it back when it first was level 1. And yeah, it was level 1. I had the recordings and everything. Come back. Gone. My clips decided to hell with how you feel. And my mic was muted somehow. Even though I never mute my mic, which is interesting. But what I was talking about in those clips was um, how this gun is not that, bruh. No cap, bruh. I had to change up the class up a little bit because it's damage range, medium range, and range, it was just absolute garbage. Hell nah. They spawn behind- That's another thing I was talking about, how absolute garbage the spawns are in this game. Dude, the worst I've ever seen in any Call of Duty, and I've been playing COD since COD 2. Like, holy damn, how can I kill someone and they spawn right behind me? Of course I'm gonna lose the battle. They're pre-aiming my location. And they're not just pre-aiming it, they're focusing that location. Like, how hard is it to make... Look at this. The spawn... Bro, how can you spawn us there and then spawn the enemies there literally half a second later, bro? Like, Sledgehammer. How hard is it, bro, to do your job correctly? Like, literally, dude. Spawns are atrocious in this game, and they still have not fixed them. I stopped playing this game like six months ago and the spawn still sucks. Same thing with the the damn um Same thing with the packet burst. You still get hella packet burst in this game. Like all the issues that were here are still here. Nothing was fixed. They got me on both sides. Good, good spawns. Good, very good, bro. Clearly spawn me there, and then I stay there because I'm being swarmed to my own spawn, and then spawn the enemies there after I just killed them. This is why I stopped playing it, because it's almost like it's so hard to get nukes in this game when you can't even have a consistent spawn, dude. Like, holy damn, bro. I don't know how hard it is to make good spawns. Even TDM Nuketown spawns are better than this. I kind of want to say maybe even um, shipment spawns are about the same as this from Modern Warfare 2019. And shipment was a tiny box. <sighs> yeah, I'm glad I stopped playing this game, bro. 
It, 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 it's atrocious. Literally, the thing that makes it absolutely terrible are its damn spawns. One of the worst things is packet burst. And this thing needs more ammo, which I don't have the clip that gives it more ammo. I think you have to be like level 41, uh, the gun, which I am not there. They're going to be spawning here. Watch it. Teammates just spawn here. Give it two seconds. The enemy's going to be spawning here. They got me. Both sides again. Both sides again. Nothing I can do. Spawns literally just... <sighs> I love how 50 rounds to someone and they survive by one throwing knife to my kneecap and I'm dead. Yeah, this gun, if you can, put the highest clip you can on this thing. I don't know where the clips are because I didn't really look at the attachments, but wherever they're at, put it on, bruh. Because this thing's damage is absolutely atrocious. It's time to kill is not all there, bruh. Most definitely range, so you're going to need all the bullets you can get. And it reloads slow as hell, so you're constantly going to be dying due to 5 second reloads. Honestly, this might be the gun where you have to reload after every single kill. Which is a bad thing to do in any Call of Duty, but there's nothing else you can do, bruh. I can't even challenge him at this range. If I do, I'd die. Even though I land the bullet first and all of them will land all in the same location. High chest headshot. I'll still die first. But yeah, how many of you guys play Vanguard? No cap, bruh. And how many of you guys actually enjoy this game? Because me, I despise this damn game and it's so terrible. It's mostly just the packet burst, the terrible spawns, the maps. Which, honestly, the maps aren't even that bad anymore compared to when they first dropped. But that's mostly the issues. The terrible spawns, the packet burst, and being killed instantly due to its extremely high time to kill. Oh my god. He's waiting for me. Of course he is. And he tried to jump around the corner with a shotgun. Why? Because I killed him and he spawned literally two feet in front of me. All those were headshots. All of them. Alright. And on top of all the stuff that I mentioned in my last gameplay, the playlists in this game are absolute atrocious, bro. Like, they don't have any of the good game modes as the playlist. Like, they really just don't want anyone to play this game. That's how I feel, bro. Because there's no way that you don't have any good playlists in your game. After me playing this game for a few hours, making me want to stab myself with a pencil, I just realized that they actually have ship house or ship house or whatever as a game mode, but hidden in quick play all the way at the bottom instantly unchecked to where you have to check it yourself like that is ridiculous bro they hid in the best game mode in quick playlist all the way at the bottom you literally have to go all the way to the bottom and check it to find it no wonder why when i was searching for it by itself i couldn't find any games because no one knows it exists like how would they know it exists when you have it hidden at the bottom unchecked instantly it's not like it's checked instantly and you can uncheck it no, bro, it's unchecked. Meaning you have to check it yourself. Like, that is stupid, bro. You know what? This gun's actually feel like it's slapping right now. I don't know why. When before, I was getting infinite hit markers. I think it's because I changed one of my attachments. Yeah, I did. I changed one of them. I dropped one of the fire rate attachments and slopped on damage range attachment, which somehow the fire rate attachment was nerfing my damage range. I don't know, bro. I just don't like how fast it is to get killed in this game. It makes it to where it's hard as hell to counter or outgun a player that's worse than you. Even though you're a better player, you're still getting killed by terrible players due to its fast time to kill. Does this man have bullet resist from spawn protect? They got spawn protect against a laser gun? Now I gotta fall back. Like, what the hell is that? Spawn protect against a gun. Now that's new. They got me on both sides. Nope. My teammates are being lit up by somewhere. I'm gonna sit back and camp. No cap, bruh. 
Do what you gotta do, no cap. I've gotten killed off of countless of nukes due to something stupid. I'm tired of it. I heard the dog, bro. I might have to cut. Bro, how long is that mortar strike? It's been dropping in the same location for like five minutes. I'm kind of scared to play range with this gun due to it's not being very good long range. Even though it's better than what it was when I was running before. And they're not telling me where they're spawning either, bruh. I have forward intel on. And yet, yeah, I'm not seeing any diamonds. I've just seen a couple right now. Losing objective Charlie. There it is. Had to sit back for it, but I do not care, bruh. I've gotten a nuke from my mic decided to be on mute. And everything and I get killed way faster than I could kill people with this weapon due to its time to kill being slower than every other weapon in the game look at that bro if that was any other gun and bullets were coming out instead of laser they would have been dead three bullets he was still alive three and everyone knows this guns time every other guns time to kill in this game is like three bullets due to it having a fast time to kill in this game I think I just got the clip I needed, the one that gives you 80 bullets. What? So, this is what it was. This barrel makes it good close range, somewhat medium, long range, probably still out the picture. Or you can use a barrel that's supposed to make it long range and make it terrible at every range. That's what this gun did, or that barrel did, the first one. The other one was a sniper barrel, and the other one was a semi. But I got a V2, so it doesn't even matter. After 10,000 years, hey, I saw it drop. I didn't even know it dropped. I mean, I got killed the moment I saw it drop, but still, I'm done. I'm probably going to show my gameplay where I dropped the nuke but didn't have my audio as well. So I'm probably going to post it up after this one. Make it zoom through, though, just show me getting the kills. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? You got 70 kills. <laughs> I can't, bro. Alrighty, brothers, what you guys all been waiting for? My EX1 class up. This is what I'm running on the EX1. I'm running the disc trim for the first attachment. This was helping out with the damage range. I was running um, the relay, which you can run as well. Either one of those would be fine. But I actually did go back and forth between these two. The only reason I ran the disc trim was for the extra damage range, even though it kind of nerfed the damage a little bit. Like I said, the gun shreds close range, but its damage range is not all the way there. So that's why I was running this attachment. For the next attachment, I was running the uproot short. This right here is probably the best barrel, no cap. I tried using this one that I was explaining before to help it long range and stuff like that. I tried running this attachment. This was the one I was trying to run and help it more range and stuff since I had a longer barrel. Didn't help. I ran the burst, which actually wasn't too bad, but I liked it as a fully auto, so that's why I took it off. This one was just a semi, which wasn't helpful, and this one was a sniper version, so most definitely not helpful if you're not running a a sniper conversion so that's why i ran the uproot it honestly it was just the best choice out of all of them for the third attachment i was running a slate reflector of course need an optic you can actually run the iron sights the iron sights on this weapon aren't too bad but i was running the slate reflector because it's the best attachment for the optics like come on now for the fourth attachment i was running the steady mass i'd probably run rem the remove stock once i unlock it but i was running the ac steady mass because this was just the best one and i didn't want to completely nerf my movement speed to aim down sight speed but once you unlock the remove stock you can run that the probably the best choice for the fifth attachment i was running the pistol grip to help out with the sprint to fire speed you can also run the hand stop i did run this for my first nuke or should i say my second nuke that had no audio this was to help out with the recoil control pretty fire as well run either one of those it's up to you for the sixth attachment i was running the dx circuit battery the reason I was running this one is because I actually was running this one. This was the one I was talking about that made it where it nerfed my damage range and it made it feel like it was even more pathetic to the point where it was unusable long range. So that's why I swapped to this one. It actually helped out a lot more to where I was actually killing a little bit range even though it's not the best. I actually was planning on running this one but I don't have it unlocked. 
The reason I was planning on running this one is because it gives an extra 20 bullets, which this gun needs, like I said before. Bro, it needs help with the ammo. For the seventh attachment, I was running the rubber grip to help our recoil control. I was thinking about running the fabric. You can run the fabric if you guys don't have any recoil. Or you can run the stippled to help out with the recoil recovery. Either one of those would be good. So the best two attachments for this would be the stippled or the fabric, in my opinion. For the proficiency, I was running steady. For the eighth attachment, I was running steady for reduced movement penalties. This was a pretty good attachment. Once I unlock all the other attachments, I'd probably run sleight of hands. Because like I said before, his reload speed is atrocious. So that's all I was thinking about running that. You could also run Focus or Frenzy to help out with health regeneration after a kill. Like all of it's up to you, but honestly, if you're running EX1, in my opinion, run Sleight of Hands because it reloads slow as hell. And for the final attachment, I was running Surplus to help level up the weapon faster, but honestly, but honestly, you can run on hand to help out with the equipment, so you throw the equipment and get back to the weapon faster type of thing, because like I said, the weapon's naturally slow, so this would help. The best one on here, no cap, is probably on hand. But yeah, anyways, let me know guys' thoughts down in the comments about the EX1, if you guys think this weapon is good or not. Also, let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comments about this class setup, if it was actually fire or not but yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new don't forget to slap on the post notifications so you miss the latest and greatest videos and i'll see you later guys peace